Welcome to the Really Real Show Season 3, Episode 6. I'm your man John, my man Wes taking care of business behind the camera as usual. We are broadcasting live from Anthony's Pizza and Pasta on East Ponce de Leon, right down the street from the Cab Farmer's Market and the pinups. You know what I'm saying? Really big show coming right at you right now. Natalie's going to hit you with your entertainment news, of course. I'm going to hit you with your sports news. And we got an exclusive interview. Biggest one in really real show history. Exclusive interview with Richie Incognito. You heard me correct. Richie Incognito, the big bad bully from the Miami Dolphins in the NFL. We got the interview, man. Nobody else has this interview. Not 2020, Robert Walter, CNN. Nobody got this interview. He requested the Really Real Show. He got a new look, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like slimmed down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, got a little haircut, man. <laughs> hey, Richie Incognito interview, Really Real Show. We'll be right back. First of all, thank you to The Really Real Show for having me. I mean, first, I'd just like to make a statement to the world, to the country, to my Miami Dolphin organization. My name is Richie Incognito, a.k.a. Babyface, a.k.a. Michelin Man, a.k.a. I will not shit in your mouth, okay? And I am not a racist bully. It, just ignore that, you guys. Uh, me and my kids were playing a game of Ghost earlier today. <laughs> you little bastards. <laughs> so, Richie, you look a little different there. Is this blackface? Not at all, Wes. I, 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 after all this craziness is going on, I went and spent some time in Hawaii. You know, got a few spray tans, man. Just, just trying to, you know, stick true to my true self, who I feel like I am inside. So, the, this text message you sent to Jonathan Martin last year, and I'm reading verbatim. This is a quote. Quote, I will shit in your mouth. End quote. That whole thing was taken out of context. I mean, did you, did you really think, Wes, that I would defecate in this guy's mouth? I mean, this is a 300-pound guy we're talking about here. That's at least a two or three man job. I mean. So, have you ever used the N-word? You see, that's a tricky question, Wes, because um, locker room speak is a lot different from, you know, office or, you know, cubicle speak in the in the office or whatnot of corporate Americas. I mean, um, the N-word in the locker room is proper vernacular, Wes. I mean, if you're not saying the N-word, then... You are racist. I may have shitted in his food. May or may not have. I may or may not have shitted in his meatloaf um, pre-game meal one once. Once. So, indirectly, I may have peed in his lemon lime Gatorade. But he but never in a bullying fashion. Always in a prankster. I mean, but lemon lime is the worst flavor anyway. We're just who, goofing. Who drinks that? That's what I say about <laughs> this guy all the time. That's what I say about this fucking kid, man. He, he, he drinks the worst stuff. Lemon lime and meatloaf. <laughs> who who would have thunk it? Hey, what's up, guys? You're watching The Really Real Show. I'm your entertainment guru, Natalie Enjoy Johnson. Now, what's the doobie with Rihanna's rap? And can somebody please tell Kanye West to shut up and just make music? Chris Brown is going to rehab for 90 days, and Molly just feels like it's okay to get on stage and announce that you love to hit the joint. Now, no matter how much these stars say they hate us, they actually really love the media. Now, from J. Lo to Lady Gaga, these stars cannot get us to stop talking about them. And speaking of talking about, it pays to be a reality TV star these days. I'm talking Candy Burris's Bedroom Candy is a million dollar business, as well as Kenya Moore announcing her new hair care products to grow your hair nice and long. And there's Phaedra that has a new book out. 
teaches you how to be a lady when you want to cut your man's throat. Ugh. And I'm thinking turkey, ham, rolls, macaroni and cheese, greens, mm, I can't wait. But before you stuff yourself, it's so important to give back. A lot of stars across the nation have been giving back to their communities, and I had the privilege to work with the Corey Liverpool Foundation to give back to the homeless. Now, no matter what, you never know how thankful you are until you give back. Now, for more information on these stories, make sure you log on to EnjoyJohnson.com. I'm your entertainment guru, Natalie Enjoy Johnson, for The Really Real Show. And John's up next with sports. Peace. You are watching The Really Real Show, Season 3, Episode 6. I'm your man, John. You know it's time for sports on this Thanksgiving day. NFL kicks it off this weekend with three really big games. Finale of the night, I'm going to start with the finale. We know Green Bay and Detroit is playing. Detroit and Dallas play every Thanksgiving for the past 60-something years or 30-something years. Who knows? Green Bay, Detroit early. Uh, Dallas, Oakland early. But the finale playing for a playoff spot and the secure sixth seed right now in the AFC playoff picture is the Baltimore Ravens, Pittsburgh Steelers. Always a very extremely physical game. Like extremely physical. This may very well be the best rivalry in the NFL. I think so. Also, this weekend, Sunday, Falcons got to go to Toronto to play the Buffalo Bills. To add insult to injury, you got to fly out of the country to go play a team that ain't playing for nothing. You ain't playing for nothing but a draft pick. I know the players want to play hard and they want to, someone want to win, but you're playing for a draft pick, man. So don't go up there trying to win. You see Jacksonville and Tampa Bay winning. Let them fools keep winning. We need a number one or number two draft pick. That's the best thing for the franchise, man. Um, also, Broncos Patriots this past Sunday was the best NFL football game of the season. The best football game of the season, man. Easily. Thought it was going to be a blowout at halftime. Broncos up 24 to zip. The Patriots came back all the way, went to overtime, won the game in overtime. I thought it was going to be a tie. I gave up on it. I went to sleep. I had to be to work the next day. I didn't have time for two ties in one day. I was going to be hot. Um... NFL, I mean college, finish with NFL, college, Broncos Chiefs too Sunday night, both 9-2, and two, playing for a number one or a number two seed in the AFC as well. College, Iron Bowl, Saturday 3.30, Alabama, Auburn. The winner of this game, SEC champions, SEC West champions, move on to the SEC championship game next week and inside track on the national championship. Alabama is literally going for three in a row and four out of five. That's ridiculous. People, you can't talk about how impressive that is. Three in a row and four out of five national championships. That's unbelievable. Heisman, Watch, A.J. McCarron, Jameis Winston. Uh, Marcus Mariota kind of fell off a little bit. But um, Jameis Winston, man, I hope you make it through. I ain't finna dwell on what you got going on, young brother. Right. You keep playing well. I hope you make it through. Whatever, whatever happened, I hope the right result comes out. If he did it, he needs to be punished. If he didn't do it, he needs to be let go, man. Leave hashtag, him alone. Hashtag rape. Yeah, that ain't cool. Um, so, like I say, Heisman next couple weeks coming up. They need to make a decision on whether they're going to charge this man or not, man, so he can so he can go on with his life, man, go on with his career one way or another. Um, what else we got? Hockey news? We canceled, we canceled the hockey segment. Brian Dang, McCann. I forgot. Brian McCann is a, a is a Yankee. That's the biggest baseball news you're going to find for fake Yankee fans. Um, we about to sign, re-sign Robinson Cano. Yeah, for 300 this time. <laughs> For him to slack off. Hit 30 home runs and slack off in the defense. But uh, NBA news, no NBA news. Oh, yes it is. Derrick Rose ain't playing. He out. Knee hurt again. The other knee this time. Might take two years to come back. Kobe Bean Bryant is on his way back with a $48.5 million contract that everybody hating on. For whatever reason. Just because he Kobe. People been hating on Kobe since. Been hating on Kobe. Um, got some haters in the studio. You can't go nowhere without seeing a Kobe hater. And 20 Kobe fans. So, Kobe, 48 and a half million. People saying this. He took a pay cut. He was making 30 million a season. Now he's making 24 and a, 24 and a quarter. I mean, that's a $5 million pay cut, man. What you want from the man? Let the man is letting his agent do his job. The Yankees want him to sign on dotted line. Not the Yankees. You know they dish out money. If the Lakers want him to sign on dotted line, the man going to sign. He didn't, he didn't break their back, break their arm for that contract. They wanted them to sign that contract, man. That's going to put him 20 years as a Laker, man. Living legend status already. Oh, he got the Heisman. 
I t- yeah, the Heisman coming up. I say, you know, uh, AJ McCarron, Jameis Winston is favorite, depending on how his, oh, that stuff goes. The, the quarterback from Northern Illinois is a beast, man. 321 yards rushing. He plays in the MAC championship game next Friday. They Gosh. trying to they trying to bust the BCS. They did last year. I think they won the field last year, if I'm not mistaken, right? And bust the BCS. Yeah, they shouldn't have. They didn't want to play for the state. They might have a better chance this year. They said they got a better team. I watched a little bit of the game last night. They played on Tuesday night. How, that matching, man? how legit is this conference? That's that's how legit is this conference if you play on a Tuesday night? It's matching. That's 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 nothing. Come on, Natalie. Okay. Yes, that's over. Thanksgiving <laughs> is all about giving thanks, people. Eat, yes, you eat good food. You see family. Give thanks, man. Give thanks for everything you have. Family, friends, loved ones, possessions. Whatever. I mean, everything. If you don't have much, continue to give thanks. If you don't have much, or if you do have much, give back to your community. Absolutely. And if you are looking for ways to volunteer or donate, check with your local radio station. They always have a listing of places where you can go. I'm going to do a little bit more volunteering this year. I'm going to try to. I'm going to plan to anyway. Um, I did a little bit for Habitat for Humanity a couple weeks ago for a loved one. It was cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm not big on building houses. Maybe I can serve a little food this time around, you know, 2014, volunteer a little bit more. Donate some of them old clothes I don't need, you know what I'm saying? It's tax deductible, too, when you donate clothes, man. Just get that receipt, man. Take it to your tax, man. Hey, give my $100, man. Make sure you get this $100 back. It feel good when you get back, and you will reap the benefits, man. You know what I'm saying? What goes around comes around. That's in a good way and a bad way. I believe that, man. So yes, give back, give back. Um, shout out to Anthony's Pizza, pizza and Pasta. Yeah, Goodness yeah. gracious, I couldn't get that out, man. I'm thinking about the food, probably. Good Alfredo, mm. good calzones, good deep dish pizza. What you have? Italian sausage, sandwiches, salads. They got the whole nine, man. Affordable prices, family-sized meals if you take your family in there. Nice atmosphere. Shout out to Platform Studios. Always showing the most love to platform for obvious reasons. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man Wes. Shout out to Crystal, Corey, my wife Jesslyn, my baby, my wife's family, my family. And it's very special shout out to my man BC, man. Congratulations on the little one, little BC squared. Coming by there to see y'all, man. I wonder what day he was born. I'm going to hold the baby. He was born on no, November the 9th, man. He's a week, wait, two weeks old? Almost two weeks old, man. Just brand new life. He was born on my man Wes' birthday. He all happy for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? And a special shout out to ZDW Boutique for my lovely shirt. Love it. ZDW, shout out. Um, who else, what, what else, Wes? Who else we shouting out, man? I'm not shouting out Leander this episode, man. I can't believe he saw Hunger Games before me. This is on a personal note. Y'all can, you know, if this man saw Hunger Games before me. This man don't know nothing about no movies. <laughs> nothing. I'm mad about that. Um, it's Thanksgiving. T, yes. Omar. Yes, it is West, Thanksgiving. DC. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And thank you so much for watching The Really Real Show. I'm Natalie N. Joy Johnson. I'm John Boy. Oh, wait, wait. What's uh, your favorite part of Thanksgiving? Oh, my God. Our favorite part of Thanksgiving. What's your favorite part of Thanksgiving? Um, spending time with my family. I don't, get a, I don't spend as much time with my family as I would like, my, especially my parents, my extended family. Um, eating good food, getting that day off of work. I wish I had Friday off, but unfortunately I do not. Mm. Um, I do. Spending good time with, with your family, man, is my favorite part. And don't overdo it. This is just a little advice for me. Just don't overdo it. It's going to be plenty of food. It's not going to get ran away. i never seen Thanksgiving dinner get all ran eaten away. up and it ain't going to get ran away. <laughs> yeah. I, no, i never seen Thanksgiving dinner get eaten all up in one night where it ain't no more. Don't eat like it ain't no tomorrow. Just eat decent portions man you know you probably already been doing a little bit better losing a little weight maybe i don't know but don't overdo it that's my advice what's your favorite part now? my favorite part of the holiday since i'm not going back to my hometown of ohio i'm gonna miss out on some family friends there but i do have a lot of family and friends here in atlanta that i'm going to simply enjoy and stuff my face of course i'm gonna eat i don't know what he's talking about but i'm gonna eat like I've never ate before. <laughs> well, just drink a lot of water. <laughs> just replace one of your sodas with water. And, and don't be too hungover on Friday. Friday gonna be the worst work day ever. Like the worst unproductive work day. How are people gonna be out shopping before they even go to work? They gonna be hungover, drunk. Not me. I'm not gonna be hungover. I'm gonna be at Bryce Welly, man. Work. 
Yeah, man. Y'all just have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Be safe. It's gonna be a freeze warning. It's officially winter. I'm wearing my winter clothes in the in the house. It's officially winter in Atlanta, man. Y'all be safe. Watch out for that any of that ice they crazy ice they talking about. Shut the city down two years ago with that ice. So y'all be careful, man. Be safe. Have a good holiday. Be out of here, man. Really real show. Peace. No E. No, just what you were against. Our minds locked up, chilling white right behind the fence. When we gon' think outside the box, can we climb the fence? They got the poison stuck in, then that's like an IV. I'm staying focused so I can't keep my eyes. This life is one time, it's no retrying. But to do it right and take some glasses off, they blinding. They say they born the ball, but really you're just torn and all. They say I'm lame, I'm good, good, damn.